Welcome to Hive AV. This tutorial will review updating the Hive AV app. We'll also go over how to set the launcher, the default launcher, um, for the home button on the panel so that uh, only the app shows up or disabling it so that we could uninstall the app and reinstall it. So let's begin. Again, you will want to uh, navigate to uh, HallTechAV.com, uh, Product and Hive Touch. This is our product page. And under Downloads, you'll find our Hive AV app, the most recent version, and the Hive Viewer installer. Um, we'll assume we already have it installed um, as we did that in the last tutorial. So just go ahead and download this Hive AV app. Um, and you'll, it'll be a zip file, and you'll want to unzip it so that it's just uh, the APK. Once you download it, unzip the file, and you should have an APK as well as release notes. And you can read through the release notes and see uh, what the, the most up-to-date uh, file is. Uh, but the file you're going to be wanting to look at is it should say Hive AV, and here's a, a number of different ones, um, and it, it'll ha have the uh, the APK at the end, and uh, you, you'll want to uh, send the the most recent version of that uh, to to the to the panel. There, and that's what it should look like. And you'll see the release notes and the APK. The APK is what we'll, we'll update uh, our, our panel with. So once you have everything you need, uh, you'll then want to connect uh, using the Hive Viewer to your Hive Touch. And here we are right here. And we'll want to go to uh, settings. Now, and then settings again and then database. Now here, I would recommend doing a backup of, of your, your system before you do anything, and then doing a factory reset. And now, depending on the version, I, I you might want to uninstall Hall, uh, Hive uh, app altogether. Um, there could be some issues. Um, if not, uh, at the very least, do a factory reset and then install it. But if you really need to keep all of, all of the programming that you have and you, you want to take the risk, <laughs> you can simply just drag and drop the APK right on to the Hive Touch. And you'll see a little pop-up that's going to tell you that it's installed and then it'll reset itself, install success. And in my case, you can see it, it opens right up. Boom, just like that. Next, I want to show you how to enable and disable uh, the home button as uh, the default app, right? So the Hive Touch runs a couple different apps. It runs a, what's called a launcher, a little 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 desktop, which all with a little uh, apps, and it also runs uh, the Hive uh, AV app. And if you have the Hive AV at set set as a default launcher, this is what you'll see. You'll only see the Hive AV app. And, and this is what you want when you hand it over to the end user. But if you wanted to update, if you wanted to uninstall the Hive AV app, you're going to need to get to the settings in order to uh, uninstall it. I recommend uh, using the the, um, uh, the the settings button right up here, <laughs> close to that, but right up here. Oh. Oh, there we go. A little tricky. I'm going to go down to uh, to apps. And then what you'll want to do is you want to click on the Hive AV app. And uh, and where it says home app, yes, you'll, you'll want to change uh, that default app, right? By double clicking on it and select the Hive launcher instead. Now you can swipe up and you'll see here we have all, all of these icons, and there's an APK uninstaller right here. 
And then you can click on this. You should be able to click on this and then you'll come to this window Then you can go to manage and then click on this and hit uninstall. And then I'll take the app out completely. At this point, I can reinstall the app or install a newer version in this case, and it'll be safe. Well, basically what happens is when, when, when you update uh, the app and there's already an existing app there, it takes over that database. And sometimes that can cause conflicts depending on the new features that have been implemented. Um, so if, if it's close to the version that you have right now and you haven't built anything, you shouldn't have a problem. You should probably be able to just do a factory reset. But if you're doing a big upgrade, you know, then you're probably going to want to do a full uninstall and then reinstall. And if I come back to my desktop, you can see I have my Hive app. And you can see here, I'll, I'll just show you really quick. Uh, I can restore what, what, what was lost uh, right here. And that was my, my backup that I did a little while ago. And bam, just like that, we're, we're back in business. Um, now, if I wanted to reset the, the, the Hive uh, AV app, I could go to this settings button here. Uh, if I want to set it as the launcher, I go back to apps. I go to, to Hive, Home App, and then I change the launcher to Hive AV. And now when I press the middle button, it takes me where uh, to the Hive AV app. And then, and this is what the user will, the end user will see the end user interface. Um, if you power cycle the panel, it'll boot up into this from now on um, instead of the launcher. Thank you for your time.